Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my fall 2023 kitchen and dining room decorate with me. Today we are decorating my dining room and kitchen and I'm really excited. I picked up a lot of the new hearth and hand items for her fall collection. As you may have seen in my second fall decor haul. If you haven't seen my decor hauls, I will link them down below for you. And I will have a pumpkin chocolate chip cookie recipe at the end of the video and I'll link the recipe down below. All right, let's go ahead and start decorating. I'm starting off by giving everything a nice wipe down. I am using the Acorn Spice Mrs. Myers again, just like I did for the living room. So I'm going to wipe down the bar area, all of the counters, the soap tray, the stove top. So I have a nice clean slate for all of my new fall decor. Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a dying ember I'm starting off with one of my new hearth and hand items, which is the spoon rest. I love the design on the bottom side. It's like a large fluted design. I used to put a fall wreath above the stove, but I left the picture that I already have because it has a lot of fall colors and the green matches the green cookbook I'm going to use. Then I'm using these hearth and hand towels. I mentioned that I wanted to get these in a previous video and I finally got my hands on them. They're only $10. So now I have this set and a set from two years ago so I can use all four of them, rotate them, or have some on display while I'm actually using others. Then over in this corner, I'm gonna do my little tray. I'm gonna display all of my hearth and hand cookbooks. They're beautiful and they have good recipes. I haven't made any out of her new cookbook yet, but I saw a pumpkin recipe in there. It's like a pumpkin pie recipe with a ginger crust. And then that gray hand towel is from two years ago and then my new mortar and pestle is going on top so the grays kind of match each other but that hand towel still has the pumpkin orange and then I'm gonna add some fall spatulas into my utensil crock. Over on my coffee mug rack, I'm gonna hang all of my fall mugs and then just some neutral mugs. I really want to get more fall mugs that are not right done and just have like pumpkins or say something about pumpkin spice. I'm moving away from Ray Dunn, so I really wanna get just really cute mugs that go together but are not the same. So I'll be on the lookout for that and then as always, I'm gonna add some decor to those bottom hooks. When the autumn leaves are playing chasing puts a smile up on my face they leave their branches one by one and whirl around there just for fun some are faster some are slow I definitely had to bring my pumpkin spice latte recipe back out I believe I bought this last year and it's from Michaels and I am going to use this every single year. I love pumpkin spice lattes. Over at my coffee bar, I'm putting another fall mug. It's not my favorite. I don't really like the blue because I don't use blue, but I'm gonna use it because that's one of the fall mugs that I have. I'm breaking out my glass pumpkins again. The large one is from Target, and I think it's either Threshold or Hide and Eek, and then the smaller one was from the Dollar Spot last year. I have not seen that smaller one again but i'm sure they'll come out with the big one they usually they had it two years in a row and i'm just adding my fall blend starbucks k cups inside then i'm gonna have my sugar and fill up my new hearth and hand honey jar hopefully you find kitchen restocking enjoyable because i have quite a bit in this video some are high and some are low.
Since I was a little child Every year for as long as I remember Not only do I have the Starbucks Fall Blend K-Cups, I also bought their Pumpkin Spice Creamer, which is the only pumpkin spice creamer that I like. Some pumpkin spice flavored things have like this weird taste to me and the Starbucks creamer and the pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks are the only ones that don't taste weird to me. I also really like the Stoke pumpkin spice um, creamed coffee. It's a cold brew and it's so good. I finally found them at Target and I bought four of them just in case I couldn't find them again. I'd have four stocked up. And then I also bought some pumpkin spice whipped cream from Target. I am just pumpkin spice stocked for this season and it's not even going to last me that long. Fall hasn't even started yet. Obviously, I had to get the Mrs. Meyers apple cider hand soap. I had the dish soap saved from last year and I'm almost out and they're not selling it in stores yet. So I'm going to have to go find that eventually, but I did find the hand soap to restock. And then this is one of my old hearth and hand hand towels. So I'm putting that back out and I'm also going to put out the new dish towels that I got this year. All the leaves were on in wild. Over in this area, I'm gonna put my little wooden serving tray and then just add another one of those glass pumpkins, a candle and a candle snuffer. And then I'm gonna put some of the dark chocolate Reese's Thins inside just so we can grab one whenever we're feeling a craving for something sweet. Turn the world around us into gold. When the Now I'm restocking Tilly's treat jar, and yes, I do this all the time. So we have this huge box from Sam's Club of these milk bones, and then I put them in this jar so we have easy access, and I like to make them look pretty. I know I don't have to. It's just something that I like, and that makes me happy, so I do it for us to see and enjoy. And then over on the right side of this little breakfast bar area, I have my lamp since I don't have the side table in the living room anymore, and I love having this lamp on at night night and turning off the other lights and a picture of Tilly. So here's how the kitchen turned out. I didn't film it but I did take the stuff down that was up here previously and we put some of the baskets that we already had so we can store extra food items and like trash bags etc and then I just put a couple of pieces of decor that I didn't use anywhere else and I really like how it looks up there. It adds warmth to that area and just makes it cohesive with the rest of the kitchen and the rest of the apartment. So let me know what you think about how the kitchen turned out. What's your favorite item that I used for my kitchen this year? Let me know in the comments down below. Now I'm moving on to the dining room and I'm doing the same thing, giving it a quick wipe down and then I'm going to vacuum and we'll get into the decorating portion. When the autumn leaves are playing, chase it, puts a smile up on my face, the leave the branches one by one. I'm using a hearth and hand runner from I believe two years ago and it's got that kind of like mauve brown color as well as the pumpkin brown color which is going to tie in with one of the pumpkins that I'm going to put on the table. I just wanted to keep it simple but still have those fall touches so I switched out the other cream one for this one because it had the fall colors. I'm using the same picture as last year because I still love it and I feel like the colors go really well with the living room and the kitchen. It's got the green from the kitchen as well as the orange and kind of like 
mahogany mauve colors from the living room. On the table, I'm adding this large vase from Studio McGee a couple of years ago with my Cosmos from Hobby Lobby, as well as some candlestick holders and plain white candles. I've never really put candles on the table like this before, and normally I center whatever I have on the table, but I really wanted to try something different, and Ethan liked this arrangement as well. And I, of course, had to put a couple of pumpkins over here, but that orange is really similar to the orange in the the table runner so I like that it tied in and then over on this wall I'm going to put my copper fall market sign to tie in some orange and then I'm also going to tie in that kind of mahogany color with a plate and then the brown bottle that I'm putting up here that's acting as a vase I've said in previous years but it's actually a Starbucks coffee that you can buy in the store and I Thought the bottle was really pretty so I cleaned it out and saved it to decorate for fall. I thought I was gonna like this wreath up here but it ended up looking weird which is why I end up putting the arrangement up here which I intended to use in our bedroom but it looked good out here and I needed something so the bedroom always has to suffer a little bit for the spaces that people see more. And here's how the dining room turned out. Let me know if you like the dining room or the kitchen better. Do you like the colors better or the decor better, with whatever, or if you like them equally. I'm curious to know which space you like more. Time to make some pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. I'll leave the recipe linked down below. I've never made this recipe before, so hopefully they turn out good. So you're gonna need a half a cup of salted butter softened, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a cup of pumpkin puree, an egg, one and three quarters cups of flour, one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon, sorry, half a teaspoon of sea salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and then a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder, and one cup of delicious chocolate chips. I use dark chocolate because I like dark chocolate more, but you can use regular chocolate chips. First, we're gonna mix together some dry ingredients. So we're gonna put the flour, the baking soda, the baking powder, the pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon, and salt. I think that's everything that I'm putting. And I'm going to mix it together with a little spatula. And then we're just gonna set that aside and make another mixture after that. Just for fun. Now I'm combining the softened butter, that's an important part, it needs to be softened, the regular sugar and the brown sugar, and I mix it up with the spatula first so it doesn't go everywhere when I use my hand mixer. Then I'm gonna take my hand mixer and mix it all together until it looks like this. Once you have that done, you're going to add in the vanilla extract and the pumpkin, and you're gonna mix all of that together to start making the dough. Once that mixture is done, you're going to add in the dry ingredients and mix it all together. After you have that mix, you're going to add in the chocolate chips or dark chocolate chips, whatever you wanted to use. Once the mixture is done, you have to chill it for an entire hour. I know I didn't realize this when I found the recipe. So just make sure you're ready to wait a little extra time to get those delicious cookies. One hour later. Now you can make your dough balls and put them on your cookie sheet. You do not use parchment paper for this. I almost did, but the directions say not to use parchment paper. They didn't come out burned or anything on the bottom, and they didn't stick to the pan too much, if at all. I can't remember. I don't think they really stuck. Dancing through the last days of September. 
Okay, so I used all the dough and it made 25 cookies. So I think that's a pretty good amount for one batch. And so this was my first batch and I just left it as a dough ball. My second batch, I squished them down after I put them on the baking sheet and they came out more cookie-like. So if you don't want just like balls of cookie, then I would squish your dough down when you're making these. You're also supposed to let it cool for three to five minutes on the cookie sheet and then I think it was 10 or 20 minutes on the rack. I don't remember, but I am going to try one before that time is over. So let's see how they turned out. Okay, this is definitely a good recipe. I would recommend you can definitely taste the pumpkin, but it's not too overpowering. If you want a little bit more of the pumpkin flavor, maybe add a little bit more of the pumpkin pie spice. I might try to add a little bit more next time, but I love pumpkin flavored things and pumpkin spice. And after you make your first batch, you can always adjust as needed. A little more, a little less. You can do different kinds of chocolate chips, but these are good. And I will be sure to link the recipe down below. Here is a bonus recipe for people who are not good at baking or just don't have a lot of time, but they really want something sweet at home to make. You can make this with your kids. It's super easy. So you're going to have the pre-portioned Pillsbury chocolate chip cookies and the you could use the pumpkin or the ghost sugar cookies, whichever seasonal cookies you like, and you're going to put them on top of the chocolate chip cookies. Now, you want to make sure they're centered because if not, when they come out, they're kind of sliding off the side like you see on some of them here. I also noticed that they were almost the same size. So for my second batch, I decided to use two of the chocolate chip cookie portions or you can just get the bigger version. I know they sell the larger cookies and then I'm going to press them down to flatten them a little bit so I can put the pumpkin sugar cookies on top and then I'm going to press them down a little bit and I think that these turned out a little bit better. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more content. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps my channel out and I'm on my journey to 1,000 subscribers. We're getting really, really close. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item or area that I decorated today was. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.